Rayman. Again. Darts. Darts. <laughs> we just watched Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you were telling me about like a filler arc in Yu-Gi-Oh that will come up soon. I was, because I've watched through almost all of the series. Yeah, I have, and I... But I, I didn't know... You Really, it's they're almost indistinguishable. In, in, indistinguishable. indistinguishable? Yeah. I didn't know which arcs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters were canon and which ones were filler. Yeah. Or anime exclusive. <laughs> and... Filler I, arcs are magical. Yeah. I remember... Okay, let's go through the arcs that we know about. We know Duelist Kingdom, obviously. That's the, the main Pegasus one. Pegasus one. Pegasus stole Yugi's grandfather's soul in order to get him to duel. After that was the the virtual world arc with the CEOs or whatever. That was filler. It I, was, actually, no, it wasn't with the CEOs yet. It was just... It was a... It was a... It was kind of like, kind of like, you tried to sell me out to Pegasus. Sorry, forgive us. By the way, here's... The new virtual reality thing. I trust you implicitly now. Yeah. And then they, and go, then they went to a virtual world fantasy slayers game. Yeah. Where with my Valentine for some reason. She she was hired to beta test. And after that was Battle City. Yes. Well, and the like two episodes of Rebecca. Yeah. It, but Battle it, City with Merrick, and that was the big, the meatiest arc of Yu-Gi-Oh. That was the, the one Merrick that arc. was the most rules accurate. Uh, yeah. That was the, the, up to that point. And then after that, once Merrick is dealt with in like a hundred episodes, then we'll get to the, oh, the after that's the second virtual world arc. I'm sorry, that's the one where they're actually fighting the CEOs. Oh yeah, the CEO. They so did they did did, did Kaiba trust them again after the last I, two times I we trained them? I think they were like banished in the virtual world. <laughs> and remember He's one? Like, remember one's like a penguin. That's that oh, arc. Oh, that arc. Yeah, Te we're Taya duels. <laughs> they just banish a bunch of fucking... <laughs> you, you, you thought I liked that virtual world so much. How about you be a part of it? Yeah. And then they're trapped... And then they're trapped there? I think so. And they're, they're like, fighting, but, like, Hey, Kaiba will let us out if we beat you. Or some shit like that. Uh, he's an alien. It's an act. Joe's Crab Shack. It's Joe's. I have analog, I don't. Not in Rayman. We thought we were gonna finish this last stream if yeah, you didn't watch that one. We failed. Oh. A fire. Oh, a, hey, why does it need to be a sexy firefly? Thanks, Joe. Joe, you are awesome. Well. You like these levels in video games, right? Uh... Oh, so this. Is this just an excuse so we won't have an exit sign at the start of the level? Because this is now technically the second map. And there's water I could just walk in, too. The guy didn't mention the crab shack. I would have remembered something like that. Oh! It trails your fist. Oh, it does, yeah. Ah, oh, this gimmick sucks. I hate this. I hate, like... Darkness levels. Uh, uh, darkness? If Never you plan, If you plan your game around, like, darkness and make it, like, a, a thing... Then, then that's one thing. Like Limbo? Yeah, or, or uh, there's another one called White Knight, and uh, it had, like, a interesting color scheme going on, and it was all about, like, managing darkness and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, those were fine, but I don't like it when there's a game that... Re especially a game like this, which relies on, a whole lot of times, blind jumps... And, and precision pre platforming. Yeah, that's just, like... That's just sh shitty, and, and oh man, that lack of light is just not generous at all. That is unforgiving as fuck. Oh, L look at this shit. The what that's going on? This is unnecessary. Hope I don't have to jump into that pit below me. That suck. Yeah. Oh, I see things. I see tings. And... Which oh. is a sign. I don't know if I need to jump before it or after these spikes, though. Yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> We're gonna be here forever. I couldn't... Yeah. Oh, you fuck! This... <laughs> is this what hell is like? No, we, we, we passed that part. Huh? What was that? What the f- Dun, dun. 
That's creepy. That's like that. <clears throat> that's like in the final levels of the original Tomb Raider. You see, you'd have like creepy, like heart pounding ambience. So, is it just tings up there? Nothing else? This is gonna suck to have to actually explore. Oh, Unfortunately, we got maps. Where are they? Where they? Where'd they go? Oh, of course it's there. Can't get it. Oh. Yeah, but you, except when you got yeah, it. But I didn't hit the rock. That's weird. So anyway, we were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. We had the the CEO's the second virtual world arc. That's the yeah. one with Noah. Kaiba's not forgotten brother, you know, like, the not like, adopted one. Like the, the not adopted brother. Yeah. I, how can I forget? And then after I, that is one that I forgot about. I guess there's a second Battle City. Return to Battle City. This is canon. That's what the first. Yeah, that was canon. The first. That's what the first episodes were called. So maybe there's just like a proper tournament arc. Is my Another. guess for it, but I don't. I don't remember what that one. Tournament was. Mark Two. Tournament Harder. Then after that we get to. The darts arc. Oh yeah, it was darts. D a r t z. Darts. <laughs> That's a dumb name. Yeah. Just darts. What's a what? What's 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 a dangerous like weapon? Uh, a fucking like a scimitar? Call him the scimit. No, the the dagger. The. Dirt. And you you know nothing about this arc. You never saw it I've as never a child. Seen it. No, I don't know what what this what this arc is about. But all I remember about it is that it involves a guy who looks like a JRPG villain wanting to summon the quote unquote Leviathan. The Leviathan. Which I don't know if that's an if that's treated as an Egyptian Yu-Gi-Oh monster in this. I have to assume so. Leviathan. Hello. Goodbye. So, what else did you say about him? Uh, I feel I remember there's a there's a scene in which Joey's like, oh, there's real monsters, Yugi. Real <laughs> monsters in the city. There's the real monsters, Yugi. And I feel like darts may have had the ability to fly, but I don't <laughs> quite remember. Which, which in Yu-Gi-Oh is fuck is like a fucking useless ability. In any other series, it'd be great, but in card game Yu-Gi-Oh, not so much. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just picturing him just like, just like in the middle of a duel, just like flying around. Like uh, how Para, how Para and Doc just do random flips between yeah, turns. but instead he's just kind of hovering around menacingly. Around like he's just doing laps around the arena. He's. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> like... <laughs> yes, oh, the Pe ability to fly, that's all... Oh, oh, good! And that's when Pegasus comes back. I think brainwashed, but <laughs> I'm not sure. He got Pegasus under his control, we're all fucked. In the manga, Pegasus <clears throat> died yeah. after Duelist Kingdom. He, he was straight up murdered yeah. by, uh... By, uh, the real, like, big bad. But in the anime, he's just, uh... He's not feeling well. <laughs> yeah. Well, he got his eye ripped out. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't feel well after that either. And I didn't know if that was maybe just the, uh, <clears throat> just the dub. Like, the <clears throat> they added in the, oh, 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 Pegasus moaning. Yeah. On the guy's back, but no, he's, the anime just doesn't kill him. No. Nah. What was the Japanese excuse? Like, uh, like, he's been assaulted. I don't, I don't remember. I think it was just, you know... Cool music loop? Yeah. No. No. Da -da -da. I mean, we didn't watch the Japanese version, so I don't know. I think... I know it listed something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look. Doing very well, by the way. You didn't die in that dark level. Well, because it was dark. I was n knew to be very, very careful. Yeah. Fuck off, rocks! Oh, you had to duck down there. Yeah. Darn it. I thought that was a hole for the rocks to fall in. Yeah. Also, his name in, uh, his name in, in the dub is, uh, Maximilian, Maximilian Pegasus. Pegasus, but the, his Japanese version is Pegasus J. Crawford. Yep, first so name just, Pegasus. So I heard that, I heard the other one, I'm like, fuck it, he's, from now on he's Maximilian Pegasus J. Crawford. Yeah, sure. Which, you know, if you're rich, you'd have a long fucking name like that. That was actually true in, uh, old Roman society, is that the higher status you were, the more names you had. Yeah. So emperors, they had a lot of names. Yeah, he's the, he's the emperor of card games. That's a tight jump. 
The emotes becomes URLs. Uh, okay, I don't I don't know how to how how to change that if that's like a Twitch setting or something. They're uh. I use a program called Restream because that lets me stream to multiple sites at one time. And that's how the chat is appearing on the screen. So that program might have something to do with it. I think it does usually show Twitch emotes, though. Yeah. If you I, try a normal one. Maybe it's an update. Yeah. <laughs> he missed. Yep. Oh, uh, Pegasus' favorite food is wine and gorgonzola. Oh. His least favorite is squid. Squid? I guess he doesn't like calamari. So... What about, how's he feel about Twister? Apparently... Or Otto. Apparently he adopted four kids. Good guy, Pegasus? Wait, conspicuous that we didn't see them in the Duelist Kingdom arc. Yeah. Like, you know that he adopted them. You don't hear about what happened when they took him away from him. <laughs> uh, but I adopted them out of the goodness of my heart. Yeah. What oh, the man. fuck is that? Oh. This level! This oh, fucking Kaizo no. level! Who's that? Where's it coming from? The music just gave up and started over. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when Pegasus told Yugi in front of like a TV? Uh, through a TV. Yeah, through, through sorry. a TV. No, through a through a VHS tape. Yeah. <laughs> just Yugi's dueling a VHS tape and losing. Yep. Well, technically, he would have won if he had more time. I don't know. You fox. Wait! They're even hiding the checkpoints now. Wait! Where is Adoptive Sons the security? What? What? No! Hold on! Wait, uh, Croquet was his son? <laughs> Croquet was older no, 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 than no, no, him! No, 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 no! I need to confirm this! Uh, like the... the guy with the really giant spiky hair? I'm confirming this! I don't think it's true! Okay, that's another dude. Who's this guy? No, no... I just took a look at the probably I just took a look at the suns. I did. I just took a look at all the suns, and no, they don't look anything like them. I was gonna say <laughs> they're the same age or older than Pegasus. <laughs> Pegasus is like twenty five. <laughs> just going to security. You're like a son to me, and he's like, uh, I'm older than you, sir. <laughs> Never mind. It's I, oh oh that, that that's devious. Rip. Oh, but hey, look. <laughs> there has to be, like, a minimum, uh, like, age difference for adoption, right? Like, oh. <laughs> Not like, that I would, but hypothetically, like, I couldn't adopt an 18-year-old girl or something. Uh, probably they not. They wouldn't no. allow that, I don't they think. They probably wouldn't. Yeah. Probably would, it would go, uh, no. Probably look at me and go, oh. uh, no. Oh, hey, that's interesting. A lot of one-ups. They give us a lot here. I, I Good! Like, I'm not complaining. They felt bad after the last level. Yeah, so two of them were twin brothers, and then, uh, another one was... D Dupre Scott. Not Dupre! Dupre! Okay. Do they... I wonder if they show up in the series at all. The anime. Uh, well, maybe that's what the other Battle City arc is for. We're gonna fight for Pegasus' honor. Hey, so good landing. It's really stuck the landing. Go ahead and checkpoint again. Yeah, I don't know why it's I don't know why it's doing that on the on the emotes. Oh, he's Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this guy is an antagonist in another Yu-Gi-Oh series. Oh. So That's <laughs> the where we see. Pegasus. That's where that's where I saw that. All so, right. So in that ser in that continuity is Pegasus still alive or dead. No, uh, he appears in uh, GX. He, like, shakes hands with someone. That's... That... That might not be a... That's why I saw... I didn't look into it. There was a Google... A Google search result where there was a discussion where people were talking about how many cannons Yu-Gi-Oh has. Oh. Because that really does introduce a lot of interesting, uh... 
well, a lot of differences between the manga and the anime if Pegasus dies in one. Yeah, and survives in the other one. A lot of people want him to survive, and I don't blame him. Yeah. Because, as, as far as being a villain, he's not very villainous. He, he didn't kidnap, like, Evie's grandfather's soul, but, that's just, but that happens to everybody in that show. Yeah. And also, he didn't, like, kill anyone, and and when Beta Keith was cheating, he just kind of he wasn't tolerating that. Yeah. Oh, no. I remember this part. But, oh... You, you remember that Donkey Kong level with the moving platforms that ran out of fuel? Yeah? Oh, fuck. Question is, does this have the fuel mechanic? Or is it just moving platforms? It's gonna be shitty no matter what it does because it's this game. Yeah. Oh. I remember that we're gonna go all the way around this map in a big circle and come right back here and the exit will be triggered by a flag. Fuck. This game's sadistic. I recognize that sound. I don't remember what enemy it is. No wonder you were telling me that, like... Oh, map, no! The map was weird in this game. The map? This level. Like, this level had a... The oh, no. I was... I must be thinking of a later level. Maybe the one after this. You fuck! You're gonna fire missiles at me as I go through here, really? Ah! <laughs> right up to butt. Can you kill him? No. Uh, no. We tried. Oh yeah, that's right. Etymology. Of what? Of his name. Pegasus? Yeah. A Pegasus is a mythical creature. Duck. Oh, we can. I tried killing the other one and it didn't work. Maybe you have to hit him from behind. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, so, biography. Yeah, per first met uh, Cecilia at a party thrown by his businessman father in Las Vegas! Yeah? Yeah! Got married. Oh, you've, there's, why do you, where do you come from? He came from behind. Oh, they didn't get married in, in like, the original version. They just... They just now, knew each other. You they mean, fell in love. You mean the manga or the Japanese dub of the, the anime? The manga. No, no, not the manga. The Japanese dub of the anime. Okay. Wait, I, I, that's its own separate beast, uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh. Got the millennium. God damn it! Okay, here we go. Platform. And rumbling? What's that? Why's that rumbling? Get a second. Oh, do you have to find, like, cages while you're here? Maybe. I hope not. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Fuck! You didn't need to jump off. I didn't. I got scared because of the rocks. Yep. And you paid the price. So... So, Duel's Kingdom happens. Uh, seals Kaivasol as well as everybody else's. So... Oh, he just fe he fell into a coma in a, in the Japanese version. Yeah. Uh. Oh no, he reappears in the movie. Yeah. That wasn't the same as the darts arc. No, he uh, he's also in the darts arc though. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, he <laughs> we gotta watch that movie. I don't know when it like takes place. Yeah. Are you talking about the one that has like the three? different anime heroes all at one, or a, a different just Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 movie? Uh, it seems to be just a Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 movie. Or called, Duel Monsters, rather. Called, yeah. It takes place at, oh, I'm sorry, after Battle City, so that's, that's oh. when, uh... We'll have to add that to our canon. Yeah. We saw the Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0 movie that was, like, 30 minutes long. Oh, God, it was just him and, and Pegasus having a duel. Yep. No, it was him and Kaiba. Oh. Who had graduated from yeah. green to brown hair by the movie. <laughs> He just, he died, he finally died it because he realized it was fucking ridiculous. No cages. Didn't see any, which is, I'm hoping there aren't any here. Yeah, you mentioned last time these maps had, these, these levels had a lot of maps. <laughs> oh, holographic Pegasus! What? 
Is that in darts? <laughs> no, that's I, I. That's a no. That's not in darts. But but yeah, I remember hologram. You know, you remember when they did that a oh, hologram Jay Z or not Jay Z hologram Tupac? Sure. I, oh no. Missed. Goodbye. It was just hanging out there. I, 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 it didn't go off like I thought it would. Well, unfortunately. So what's this holographic Pegasus? Uh, let's see. Oh no, I, did I close it? Fuck. I have to jump and hit it? It's moving fast. This, this is about card games, by the way. Yeah. I don't just people playing card games is the end result. Yeah. And yet the most interesting thing I can see why some people don't prefer I don't know. The The series? Well I'm just saying, like, I can see why people like watch pro wrestling for the storylines now. Just for the storylines. Now? Because you were so not sold on pro wrestling before now. No, I, I, no, I can see why people, like, people, there's, the, like, the thing where it's like, I don't watch it to see people beat each other up. I just watch it for the crazy storylines. Oh, like, yeah. Why? Then I, oh, uh, which then one I, am I going on? Oh, uh, too late. Maybe not? Aha! Aha! Hey, you triggered a cage. Good job. One more! Almost! Thank God I'm not having to collect fuel. It's just a cage bottom sitting on a cloud. All right, so. Okay, so this is the exit, which means there was probably a thing on that other path. So he returns in the Waking the Dragons and gathers information on a company and its tr true intentions. <laughs> Does Darts own a company? Wait, <laughs> no, this is Waking the Dragons. Is that not? I no the that Darts Ark? I thought no that, Are you sure? Oh it's my not? god! Pegasus does some industrial espionage. That's awesome! He becomes the big good of the series. Yeah. Okay, just an extra life. Maybe it's appreciated, but Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh no, it is the Darts Ark. Yeah. That's awaking the dragons. Yes. They so... they all had different names that they had to market on a kids W <laughs> Pegasus is mentioned. Pegasus is told of the of a threat to the world, and then he reappears in uh, GX and shakes the hand of the main character. That's all it does. And is that, mm. the, is that the last we see of him? This is the part I remember. This is the weird gimmicky part I was thinking of. I think, maybe, maybe it's oh. just platforming. Oh. So, so he's mentioned in 5D, which is like, you know, the bad future of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Oh, is it really? Yeah, and, it, it, and, it, and, the spawn, and one of the sponsors of a tournament is the Pegasus J. Crawford Memorial Foundation. Oh. So he finally died! I guess so. Like, a long time after. So, I just went into a cave for this guy, and now I'm platforming on balloons. Oh, that's cool. oh. oh, and there's a fish pushing the balloons. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm riding a balloon named Joe while a nose fish nudges me along. Yep, you are correct. I heard something appear. That's Is those... it just more nose fish? Okay, let's go along, nose fish. Alter timelines! Music not broken at all. Yeah, we're... Yu-Gi-Oh! 3D beyond Bonds Beyond Time. Bonzy buddy? If you have not watched our previous Rayman streams, we had some trouble getting this game- Oh, that was easy. <laughs> what the fuck?! We had some trouble getting this game to work. Hold on the Yu-Gi-Oh for a All second. Right. Yeah. In that, uh, we tried it, emulated first, and that didn't work. And then we tried, uh, the disc in the emulator, and that had- that had, uh... Issues. Yeah, issues running. That doesn't look like a friendly fish. Oh no, it's very much not friendly. It jumps fast. And so we had to resort to just playing it on our PS2. It's the only way we could get it working. Yep. So we just got to deal with the music, sadly. Sorry. 
Okay, so what was your Yu-Gi-Oh thing you were reacting so, to? Pegasus is the target of Paradox, the main antagonist in Yu-Gi-Oh! 3D Bonds Beyond Time. Your Paradox aims to kill Pegasus using a, a Yusei's Fudo's Stardust Dragon, eliminating dual monsters from existence. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is now in violation of Zelrog's No! Ball. Sorry. It did nothing to do with you. It's just instant death everywhere, because Rayman can't fucking swim. In order to prevent his future from being destroyed... By synchro summoning. Wait, there's time. There's time travel in Yu-Gi-Oh now. Well, in a game. Nah. You got two more lives to make it count. Why did this have to be like the last map of the level? I have to get through all that shit again if I get a game over. Yes. Are you gonna not burn and continue? Oh, yeah. I get. I can use a continue. I think. And does that put me back in the same map? Yeah, it should. If it doesn't, you can always just reset. As, uh, sucky as that would be. Yeah. So. Emulation for this game should work very well with rich retro arc or e I have EPSXE. I don't know which version of EPSXE it is. I assume the latest one, so. Get a kick white dual monsters from the face of existence using a... What the fuck is Stardust Dragon? That sounds like a, a stand. Yeah. Someone really doesn't like the Yu-Gi-Oh! world where all of the economy and everything is based off of a children's card game. I mean, it does sound dystopian if you really think about it, I yeah. guess. Guys, can't you imagine a world where, I don't know, people buy things with money instead of duels or something? It... <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> this is the most whimsical economy. Or what about a people, a, a world where uh, people, like, vote instead of play Duel Monsters? Get out of here with that shit! No? Not a fan? Uh... Oh! This fucking fish! These fucking fish. Come on, nose fish, you can do this faster! I made oh, it. Oh, they... In, in addition to killing Pegasus, they also kill Yugi's grandfather. Oh, not... not... Solomon. Along with several other bystanders. What was his name in Japanese? It wasn't Solomon. It... Was it? I... It, it's listed here as Solomon. Is but, it? Oh, no, he travels back in time with another character. The, I think the main character is Grandpa? GX. No, uh, not, not Solomon. Uh, Yugi. He and, and, and... Yugi? Are Yugi? Yes. He's still around in 5Ds? No, well, no, this is the sixth place during, during Yu-Gi-Oh, the, the mainline series. What? So he goes forward in time to grab Gene and goes back in time to fight Oh, Barry. you're talking about the movie where all three are there. No, I'm talking about the game with the time travel shit. Oh, there's a game? Yeah, that's the, what I'm talking about. Okay, there's a game in which a faction is trying to kill Pegasus to prevent... Oh, is there another level? He's called Mr. Scops. We, we didn't do him the proper respect of giving him his oh, title. Sorry, sir. Sir Scops. Oh, yeah, Maple Story music. That's bad. That's a bad sign. This is going to be a really hard level if the music is this nice. Oh. <laughs> you were right about that. Uh. Oh, they just drown. In English, it was Solomon, but in the manga, it was Sugoroku. Yeah. Which could still be Solomon, to be quite honest with you. And it was Muto, not Moto. It was a very random, arbitrary change they did in the English version. He's also known as Grandpa and Mask the Rock. Mask the Rock? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I, be I believe you, but... <laughs> it's what is listed. Oh, sorry. In the dub, it's After Dark Otum. Does he... He goes by an alias in some tournament or something. Oh. I'm think I'm gonna get. <laughs> like, uh, like Jackie Chun. Oh, so he's the Jackie Chun. That's... Oh, we get to see him to... Is it probably the Battle City Part 2 arc? Uh... He's 71. Yeah? He's an old dude! His favorite food is tamagoyaki and Japanese-style omelets. I don't know what- what makes Japanese-style omelets Japanese? What's the difference? Uh, I'll look it up in a bit, but first... They're nice with the cages in this level, they're putting them all in one map! 
Yeah, Sugoroku is a. Uh, it was his uh, I'm gonna like drown. Japanese name. No, you're not. Okay. No, oh, what? Have some faith in the sound. Cloud. Cloud abandoned me. Last life. Make yep. it count. Oh, I can beat the bo the hardest boss with just one life. That'll be fine. All right, Japanese style omelets. This is. We now return to another stream of Zelrog plays Rayman while Jack Googles. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't mind. I'm not doing I'm just anything. Making jokes. And I'm paying attention. You're doing very well. Fuck! I thought you were gonna die there for a second. No, I saw the land there, and it had to be had to mean something. They wouldn't put it there for no so all the maps, all the cages are on the one map. We should not have a problem with cages in this level. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it seems like you're about to die again. Got. I gotta get the right timing. You know, I'm gonna look up some of these other, like, Rayman games. Yeah, like, uh, Rayman Kart. Okay, so Japanese style. Tamagoyaki is basically what they're referring to as a Japanese style omelet. It's. Because Tamago is Japanese for egg. Yeah. Oh, what? You're up there? <laughs> you got an extra life. Ah, whoa! <laughs> wow! Gee, Willikers. What's it look like? Um. Looks like looks like cake, honestly. The way it's, oh, uh, it's just a, yeah, it's just lump of egg. Yeah, that's his favorite food. Interesting. What a bland favorite food. Yeah. Maybe they, maybe you gotta use a certain like Japanese yeah. spices. Maybe. You may put a little soy sauce on it. Rolled omelet. It's basically just rolled omelet. It's an omelet, but they just pack it in to make it easier. Here we go. Food. Fighting the dragon. Other, okay, we've been hearing a lot about these other Rayman games. I'm gonna take a look at some of them. Okay. Oh no. Oh shit. Am I gonna be able to hit him soon? No, because there's no life bar. It's just survive, huh? Yep. Damn it! I you, failed at that. You have failed at surviving. Are you gonna burn and continue? I mean, it's died just, on that level once. I'm it's pretty just sure this and Mr. Dark is all that's left, so. So you might as well. Damn it! <laughs> Taking full advantage of the grab mechanic. Oh! He just slammed it for no reason. Yeah, you... All right, last lives make them count. Yeah, there we go. Just fighting scops. Are you sure that Mr. Dark doesn't have a level? Nope, no level. Okay. It seems like they drop at random. There's no way of really knowing which one's gonna drop is the problem. Yeah, the thing is, like, speedrunners will talk about the pattern. No, there isn't a pattern. I'm w looking for one. Cool music. Yep, like normal. We're... Should I just not? Oh, I'll bet if he slams the ground and I'm down there, it'll shake me off. Is what it does. Probably. <laughs> Can I punch you soon? He doesn't have a fucking. Oh no! Oh fuck! So that's what pounding does. Got pounded. Rayman, Raving Rabbids, Rayman Cart! Yeah. Again, there were a lot more Rayman games listed on uh, Twitch than I knew existed. There's Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. And just plain old Rayman 3 had a listing. I don't know if there's a difference between them. Rayman Bowling, Rayman M. Uh, Ray, uh, Rayman XXX? No, just M. Is that is that like a GTA, but with Rayman? AKA Rayman Arena. Oh, it's like a different... Maybe it's like the European name. Oh, he has knockback! He sends you flying! Did you save before you entered his... The player? level, yeah. Okay, good. I save after every level. That's good. So this level is not going to be an issue with cages. That's good. 
we're even if we just totally game over we might just go through this and just beat this guy and then go back for the cages because then we won't have to worry about a boss fight yeah you fuck m is a racing game as far as i know all right sounds about right oh hey rayman has got a reception like, a list of scores, because it was re-released multiple times. Oh, the uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. This sounds a little bit like Sly music. I mean, it did. So, uh... EGM Gaming, Electronic Gaming Monthly... Yeah. Uh, they gave the PlayStation yeah. version... Damn it. An 8.6 and a quarter. Yeah. Out of the 10. And... Uh, I don't know any, uh... It's been highly acclaimed for its, for its animated 2D graphics, atmosphere, and soundtrack. Awarded both Best Music in a CD-ROM Game and Best Animation. It sold, uh... 90... 900,000 copies in two years. Yeah? Best-selling PlayStation game of all time in the United Kingdom. Huh. Interesting. With around 5 million copies sold, beating Tomb Raider 2 and Gran Turismo in the country. According to, Ga to Gama Sutra. <laughs> That's a great name for a site. Or Rayman advances sales near 600,000 units during the first half of the 2001-2002 fiscal year alone. Is that the... That's like a Game Boy Advance port? Yes. Right? Yep. I don't remember if I have 5 hits or not. Gave the PlayStation version, EGM gave the PlayStation version a score of 8.625 out of 10, and their Game of the Month award. Yeah. Uh, they highly praised the originality, animation, and musical score, and remarked that it firmly developed the rumor that the place it, it firmly disproved the rumor that the PlayStation cannot do side scroll scrolling games well. Yeah. I, I, I mean, uh, I can't. It really didn't. There weren't many people that tried side scrollers on the PlayStation. No. It uh, it was mostly like a 3D thing because 3D was the big in thing that everyone it was the novelty at the time. Did Mega Man not come out for this yet? Like Mega Man X four or five? I don't know. Huh. That's right. They did go on PlayStation after Super NES. Yeah. Commented that Game Pro Game Pro likewise praised the animation and music as well as Rayman's many acquired abilities, and commented that Rayman is a dazzling del delight and ranks as one of the most visually appearing, appealing games of this or any generation. Of this or any year, rather. As a critic for Next Generation, though, noting the lack of original gameplay elements. Yeah. I mean, it's they just jump around and hang. But they agreed Rayman to be an exceptional game, praising its clever design, depth, graphics, and sound. Oh, the Jaguar port uh, got a lower score. Oh, yeah? What did it do wrong? Uh, Lower sound quality of the music, and most especially the slow responsiveness of the controls. Oh, that's killer oh, for this kind no, of game. That would... can't, that's not doable. No. <laughs> Challenge mode, Rayman on the Jaguar. <laughs> that, that sounds insane. This game's already insane. <laughs> this game is Kaizo before Kaizo. Oh, hey, I can use that. However, a game... Yeah, they both... Mag, uh, ga them and GamePro both uh, noted it as one of the best Jaguar games to date. <laughs> Still yeah. better than anything else. Finally, a game that shows off the Jaguar's capabilities. I, <laughs> it's on the level of the PS1. Yeah! He agrees. <laughs> also, no, Jaguar version is horrible. No slippery physics. Much harder levels. Wait... But so you, there's no like sliding, like the whole, like the oil and art world and the, the bars in Music Land. I unknown. Because uh, if so, wouldn't that, that's kind of a big part of the Music Land? Was those long strings of like sliding and jumping? So a critic for Next Generation found the Jaguar version impeccable, venturing that there's little about the PlayStation or Saturn versions that will top this one. Yeah, is that right? right? Okay, speaking of the Saturn version. Sam Hickman of Sega Saturn Magazine gave the Saturn version a 78%, remarking that if you were just watching somebody else playing the game, you could 
be easily fooled into thinking that this was the best thing to appear on the Saturn for quite some time. Yeah. However, in reality, it's a bit too dull, a bit too often, and at times it's just plain irritating and damn difficult. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds... Sounds like somebody who has no patience for th these types of platforming games. That's something they would say. Yeah, that sounds very vague as to the specific issues with the game. Yeah, I'm, I, keep in mind I'm summarizing. I know. So, uh... Okay, so... Uh, no! So what's your opinion on, on uh, Japanese... Oh yeah, Famicom! That's the Jap the famous Japanese magazine. The chat says that Saturn version is pretty much the same as PS1. Okay, But so Saturn was a system that was notoriously difficult to develop for. Yeah. Because it's something like, that was well known about it. Yeah. That's why it died. The game... Okay, so... So Japanese reviewers judge the Saturn version similarity, which means they're judging the PS1 version, with the game receiving a score of... Uh, 29 out of 40 by a panel of four reviewers. Yeah. GamePro, however, called it just what gamers are looking for on the Saturn. And compared it favorably to, sa to previous Saturn, Hop and Boppers, Bug, and Estal. Eraser Planes is a lot harder on Saturn. Okay. They noted that while the graphics and music sometimes seem kitty oriented the challenge is oriented to veteran gamers. That makes sense. They also highly praised the it lush- It looks like Babby Game, but it is not Babby Game when you play! <laughs> they also highly praised the lush visuals and made particular note of the Saturn versions between level effects. Huh. I and guess Saturn has some different aesthetics. Probably. And fun- and uh... GameSpot gave the MS-DOS version a 7.4. Complaining of several issues such as the frequent- Oh, you- Yeah. Complaining of several issues such as the infrequent save points, but summarizing, take any good scroller like Donkey Kong or Pitfall and- The fuck is that word? Add- Scintillating colors. Okay, scintillating colors. Wonderfully clever gaming elements, elements engaging and humorous characters- Terrific music and heaps of whimsy, whimsy and you have Rayman. Because Donkey Kong Country did not have terrific graphics or music. No way. <laughs> I say not, ironically. The, uh, would you say this game's graphics and music are better than Donkey Kong Country? Oh yeah, or? it's a, on a later system. Alright, then that's what they were going for. Uh, it's not that Donkey Kong's good, it's that it isn't is good, it's that this game does it better. Is, is what they're getting at. Uh, Next Generation's review pl praise the graphics, Solid game speed, even on low-end PCs. Oh, what's he doing now? Multitude of challenges, and charming player character. Yeah, he's pretty charming. I'd fuck him. And said that the game made a good change of pace from other PC releases. So, just keep in mind that this was around the, the, the same... Uh, yeah! <sighs> Go on. This was around, like, the same time, like... A, Doom and Quake yeah. were released, so this it's, was this so was for PC gamers. This was like, hey, this is pretty cool. This was the PC platformer. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Ah. So. <laughs> okay. Cut to 2013, right? Yeah. Stephen Hill from VentureBeat covered the PlayStation version of the game, referring to it as the most punishing game on the PS1. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't necessarily disagree with any of these. Yeah, no, I'm... I, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing, I'm stating facts. He remarked that it was very difficult and would guarantee a lot of frustration for modern gamers. Criticized the various factors that contributed to this difficulty, including the punishing save system, the shortage of lives, the abundance of traps, the occasional tri trial and error level layout, and Rayman's limited arsenal in the early game. Yeah. He also criticized the need to find every cage collectible before being allowed access to the end of the game. However, he praised the game's level design, calling it... He praised... The, yeah, the game's level design, calling it genuinely beautiful and consistently pretty. Other compliments went towards the graphics and clever use of physics. Hill concludes that the game is made essentially unplayable by its high difficulty when played as intended, but that online passwords Make it a decent experience. Yeah. Cheats. There are cheats for cheats? this game. That's the PS1 version he's talking about. Yeah. 
You want to look up Rayman Chief? Yeah, don't. Oh, don't I? So this is. So. Oh no! I was about to say it was an incredibly easy boss so far. Double kill. Rip. The end. Thanks, Rayman Bebe. The super helicopter power is for you. Okay. Super helicopter guy in something version. Oh, there's a 99 lives cheat. Yes, there is. I, I just found it. You want it? Sure. All right. Is it on the title screen? No, or? it's a paused in game. In the interest of not going back to this screen 50 more times. Yeah, we're... The Rayman is at his darkest hour. He needs to I'll activate Ultra Instinct. Okay. Ultra uh, Instinct Rayman. So, hold it. Okay, so go go to inside a level. Yeah. That I remember that platforming part of the Scops fight where you can't damage him and you just have to chase him through that thing. All right, pause the game. So, in the following order, hold L2... Don't release R1. Oh. Yeah, so... Go on. Hold, hold Just keep L2, going, keep R1, going, keep going. L1, R2, in that order. Yeah. Are they all four of them yeah. held? Release in the order... Uh, release in this order. L1, L2, R2, R1. I did it. Then, press and release circle. Wait, nope. hold on. This code's long. Holy shit. Then, in the following order... <laughs> holy shit! Go on. Uh, left circle, square, triangle. Hold those in the following order. Left circle, square, triangle. And release it in this order. Left, triangle, square, circle. There we go. There we go. That's also, uh, that's also refills your health. Yeah. God damn, that's a complicated code. Oh, good thing we got it. Except now there's no, uh, they didn't put a back sign in this level, so we can't save. Oh, well. It's fine. What if we run out of our 99 lives? Then we suck and we deserve to lose. Then that just ends our Rayman stream. We give up. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, we lost our health. <laughs> we lost two of our hits! Well, those are important. <laughs> Kinda, I guess. No. This really is Maple Story music. Yeah. Another game with great graphics and great visuals, except it, not as much going on for it gameplay-wise. You think we should use this music for, uh, for our episodes? Of what? Of Bleach? <laughs> yeah. I, I guess? Where? Just like a peaceful afternoon in the Urahara candy shop? Yes. Just... Or... Or, or like, I, I already, like... Like, like wouldn't it be funny to use it? Yeah, I remember... I remember Scop sucking because of that part we just got- went through. Oh, yeah, the- Where you're chasing him with the rising lava, and you gotta hang on the ledge to avoid attack. And then, uh... The fight itself is not nearly as difficult. And I imagine that you lose your, uh... Just- you lose a lot of your lives, and you get to Scops just all beaten, bruised, and battered. Yep. Fuck. That's rough. No, this level is hell. Oh, we got multiple people in chat. Hey, you know what? At least we didn't discover this until the very end. Discover? Oh, yeah, the lives. Yeah. We played most of the game legitimately. We played a grand And again. We played some of the hardest levels. I got through the worst part of the Scops fight. We could have done this legit. It just would have meant we'd see that the game's title screen. Yep. A couple more times, probably. We got to... No, no more happy music. We don't no, deserve it's, it. It's We're having too much fun. Man, so why is Rayman doing all this? Just Mr. Dark is threatening everything, and he well, he he kidnapped Batilla the fairy. No, that was that was later on after we were, I guess, antagonizing him. Well, our goal was to free the Electoons, and once we freed all the Electoons, then he kidnapped Batilla. Oh. As, like, revenge. I guess. So, okay. hey, now we have a reason to go actually, you know, take but, down Mr. Dark, that so fucker. Dark, so Dark uh, was doing nothing uh, to Rayman personally until he decided... 
He stole the Great Protoon, which is like super ultimate power in Rayman world. Oh, okay. The, the Saker Jewel. Oh, so in that case, he deserved... He stole the Saker Jewel and then put all the Electoons in cages. Also, his name is Mr. Dark. So he's evil. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't call yourself Mr. Dark unless you had some nefarious schemes. Or you're just a 90s kid. Yeah. Either I way. wonder if he reappears. Can you? Is there like a Rayman wiki? Can you look look oh, up Mr. Is. Dark? Okay. Does he show up again in any later Rayman games? God damn it! This ledge. I'm feeling less angry doing this. Maybe this should be my new stick. Uh, Dark. Ray. Well, we're past the worst of it. The Crystal Palace and Eat at Joe's were pretty bad, but this level is not. They knew this boss was gonna suck, so it's most of the level is just the boss fight. Uh, Mr. Dark is the primary antagonist of the original Rayman. He shows up in uh, Rayman 1. I don't know what happens in it, so I'm going to leave that alone. Rayman Brain Games. Oh, okay. He returned to steal the Book of Knowledge! Oh no, Mr. Dark, why? How could you? They And then Batilla, the fairy, and the magician, who I guess is the guy who, uh... The, you know, the guy who, uh... Oh, that guy, yeah. Yeah, the guy who you paid. Hey, you survived. And let me tell you the story of Rayman! They did turn to Rayman. Hey, can you go find it? Thank you. He has to go through six different gates to find it. Then he will learn how to do writing, reading, and etc. So, it's Rayman, Mario's early years, but Rayman. Yes. It's an educational game. Uh, he appears in... So these things are tracking my fist. Uh... Oh, are they? So you can just... So it's flares. You just send out a flare to distract him. Yes. Send it back in his face. Uh, so... Oh, he so cameos he not... in Rayman 3. Oh, cameos, After okay. After you complete a level, you will arrive in a house, and there are several pictures from Rayman shown, and one of them is Mr. Dark. Oh, so he is ne has he ever had, like, a 3D model? I, I, or is I it don't... all just drawings? I think it's just draw. Rayman Origins... He did not appear, his in, but his influence was felt throughout the game. Hey, I It was won. thought he was the main antagonist and the mastermind behind the Moody Clouds. Okay. Hey, cool. The majority of the adventure, the magician tricks Rayman and his buddies into giving him lums to power his machines. Wait, what? Wait, the magician is the bad guy in a later Rayman game? <laughs> hey, that's kind of cool. <laughs> He'll turn. Maybe. Rayman to the rescue! Not actually voiced by Tom Kenny, to our knowledge. Rayman Legends. His legacy is still felt a century later. A century? There's a time skip in Rayman? I guess so. How, are these guys immortal? <laughs> How old is- is he still around? Uh... Is that like Mega Man Legends? I don't in know. The super distant future. That's all I know about Mega about Rayman Legends. Let's take a look. Uh, speaking of Tom Kenny, two things. I uh, so apparently Hannibal Bean is voiced by Tom Kenny. Oh, is he? That we didn't catch uh, while we were watching Shaolin Showdown, and uh, I actually I I loaded up some episodes of Shaolin Showdown. I wanted to make a, a short of villains watching villains watching villains watching villains. Yeah, but. Uh, Actually, I, I looked and, uh, no one ever spies on Chase Young besides that one time Kimiko. <laughs> None of the other villains ever get a one-up on him. <laughs> that's so that's he's, great. So he's consistently top dog villain in Shadow yeah, Nobody Shona. bothers spying on him. But he's spying on everybody. That looks like the same dude. Of, uh, you're talking about Mr. Dark? No, uh, Rayman Legends. Oh, the magician. Yeah. No, just Rayman Legends, the oh. guy... Does he still exist in the... Mr. Dark's Dare at the Candy Chateau. Final level. Ooh. Final level. Let's finish the fight. Oh, and it's all candy. And ha what is that thing up there? Is it like a clown? Yeah. Oh, there is a level. 
Cool level. <laughs> Good thing we got lives. I'm riding a frying pan. Yeah. Suddenly I am the spoon man. Oh, you're doing your... Oh, this is radical! This jazzy music. Oh, I need to maintain momentum on downslope so I won't have enough speed. Yeah. The sequel to Rayman Origins takes place 100 years after defeating the magician. I guess he was okay. the villain! I guess so. Just he face heal magician. Rayman, Glowlocks, and the Teensies, whoever those are, take a century long nap. Okay. He's that lazy. I guess they need to because they ran out of energy. This series lore is weird. <laughs> yeah! God damn it! I drowned in pasta. Honey. The dying pan. <laughs> says chat. God <laughs> damn it! That jump is. That first jump is so precise. Yep. There's this very slight delay. This wacky Nickelodeon music we got to accompany us. Come on, Rayman. You're radical enough for this! <laughs> so... Yeah? So at this point, after the nap, Rayman, uh... Then the nightmares they were fighting, they grew in numbers, I guess. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Dark was basically the Akron of, uh, of Rayman World. I guess? How so? Because... <laughs> Because, or the Kron. Like the like, god of, of war? No, no, the, from uh, Rhapsody. Yeah. Yeah, he was the... Well, he, Kron was the e, the hell god. His, god his, of the underworld, devil, Hades. Oh man, why did the magician turn... Like, we gotta play that game now. I don't know, but I can't find that kind of funny. Never <laughs> never trust the du those dudes. Sorry I spoiled it for you, that would have been very awesome. To we find talked out. about potentially... Oh. I gotta, yeah. I gotta slide backwards. We talked about the possibility of doing the more recent Rayman games, like Origins, and... Was there another four-player co-op one? Uh... Oh! What? Oh, no, Evil Rayman! Oh, God, he cloned us! Can I fight him? Nope, he's invulnerable. Good thing you don't have to worry about, uh... No, no cages. So you're I don't think. No. Oh, there's a life, though. <laughs> hey, I need those. We're back to 90! We're, we're in good shape. Is he just moving in my perfect mirror? Do I just have to keep moving? Oh, instant death! Instant death! This game's sadistic. Oh, he hurts me too. It's like a time trial in real time against yourself. So you had no idea that there was a cheat? No, I'd never used the 99 lives for this game before. Legends and Origins. Okay, th yeah, those are the two. I knew there were two co-op games. I'm not crazy about the kinds of characters and kind of world building they try to do in Rayman. After nice a vision. point. God oh. damn it. Really after Rayman too, like that glow box guy didn't seem like he really fit in with anything from this game. No. A lot of things in Rayman 2 onward didn't. So I guess going fast really won't help me. No. Interesting background track. Yeah. Oh, what? What? What do I do? Hit it, maybe? Yeah. No? It's just a wall. It's a wall, wall. Of, ap wall of apples. So, Should yeah. Uh... Rayman. Should we do, uh... Rayman. Is there any Rayman fan fiction? I'm sure there is. What? Of course what there's... What would it be if about? It, if it exists, there's fan fiction of it. I was gonna say, should we do a, uh... Should we do a co-op run of one or both of the little big planets at some point? Oh, totally. That, that... Now that we got our PS3 uh, streamable. Uh-oh. Oh, at least he dies, too. <laughs> Yeah, you, you're ta I'm taking you with me, motherfucker. Because those are fun co-op games that... I was reminded of them because of this, like, uh, candy environment. There's a candy world in, I think, two. Oh, that's cool. Is it... 
That's different from the uh, Mexican dead planet like world. Oh yeah, that that one's fun. All right, I heard. Okay, now I have to touch the far left first. Oh, so you loud were drums. Fuck me, that's scary. I can play. That is like. I can play games with this guy if I really wanted to, but I won't. Yeah, probably for the best. It is a very interesting mechanic. I've never seen this in another game since or before. Uh, N plus plus has it. Of your like killer shadow, following your previous movements. Yeah, it's one of the. It's a. Uh trap that they try to get the ninja character with. Yeah. He can probably swing. Oh, I'm sure he can. He does everything I do. Why are these drums so much louder than all the other music in this game? Because you're being chased, bro! So what's the... If this is Rayman, what's evil Rayman? Uh... I mean, Dark Man is taken. Vector Man? Beam no, wait, man? that's taken. Beam Man? Beam? Yeah, sure, it's Beam yeah, Man. He's a... Beam Man NG. <laughs> that's good. That's a good pun. There uh, we go. Wait, isn't that a driving game, Beam NG? Yeah, it's, oh. uh, it's heavy, heavily moddable. I think I confused with, like, that realistic with... realistic damage and stuff. Yeah, I know. I confused that with N+, because N. Oh, he reversed my controls. Oh, that's cool. At least he gave me some jaunty music, though. Yeah. Well, good luck. Is it hard yet? Oh, that's the that's the dude. He's an enemy. Fuck, fuck off, clown man. Can't you see how evil Mr. Dark is? He hires clowns. Damn it. And monster men. What? Are we the villain? What Maybe Mr. Like Dark just wanted some joy in his life, so he <laughs> came to Candy Chateau, he hired some clowns to try to make him smile, and now this Rayman asshole is coming to spoil his good time. Is he, is he like that dude from fucking We're Back at Dinosaur Story? Oh, the, pro the Professor Screw Eyes? Yeah, the, the one who just really knew how to, he knew how to throw out on like a really good show. Yeah, he just had a, cer a perfectly legitimate circus he was running. And yeah! The, the kids agreed to work for him. And... But no, he's, he's got screw eyes, so he's evil! He's my brother. He's not Christian. Oh, there's a stun in this game. Yeah, that's what you were suspecting with Scops. What? Yeah, you like when he's pounding his fist, you thought oh, he yeah. was like... I didn't know it actually existed, is all. I don't need. I didn't even remember this level I'm, existing. I'm like, he's I yeah. Screwface was the most non-villain villain ever. Like, like we joke about Pegasus, but he did more than like Screwface did. He did steal some souls. Did he? Oh no, Pegasus. Yeah. yeah. Screwface didn't. Screwface just wanted to put on a nice creepy show. Nothing but tons of creepy fun. Talking about uh, we're back a dinosaur story. <laughs> I'm sure other people in the '90s saw that, right? It, it was. I'm kind of one. I'm going to say, despite its craziness, it was still an entertaining watch. I think it was about as well known as like Cats Don't Dance. It was about I, that tier. I've never seen that. No, that'll be something for our list one day. <laughs> Get the guys in. We'll watch it together. Oh, that's death, isn't it? That's death. I wasted that life. Yes, you did. It was a trap. There's an abundance of those. I'm just picturing like Italian people dancing right now. Maybe he's in Italy. You think so? Maybe Mr. Dark is actually like an Italian dictator. All okay, here we go. I, okay, that was a, a foreground object. I thought it was something I had to jump over. 32 crossovers! With? Okay, so the most popular one is with Sonic the Hedgehog. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, then after that is, uh... Sonic has four. Uh, 
Then there's one crossover with Legend of Zelda. How? how? I, to, well, let's find out. Does it have to do with their, uh, their deep lore and branching timelines? The hundred years... Like what happened in Zelda? <laughs> what happened in Zelda during the hundred years Rayman was asleep? <laughs> did, All right, did Ganon come and go. Okay. This oh no! Now I'm always running. <laughs> you can't win. No, stay away from my candy paradise. I worked hard for this. <laughs> go what? on. Uh, yeah, Jack's on fanfiction.net. Yes, I am, as I am what to do. Uh, so the this one fanfic is called I Can See the Light, and it's about... And the description is, Fairies and lungs look similar, or as Tattle discovered, perhaps a bit too similar. Okay. I'm gonna guess lums are the little things that are kidnapped. In the cages. <laughs> and the other one is called The Misadventures of Two Couples. You can guess what that one's about. No, who are the couples? <laughs> Oh, you fuck! Um, you dick! I'll give you... He took my fist away. I can't fist. I'll give you a hint. Go on. Bo uh, they're both uh, well-known, uh, like, main characters from their respective series. So, Rayman and Sonic? Link. Oh, Rayman and... So, who... Uh, there's, that's one couple. Th that's the couple. Oh, it says couples, plural. Two couples. Though. It said two couples. Oh. Oh yeah, you're right! What the- I, I, I missed that! Go Blocks and Ganon? Go Blocks? <laughs> Mr. Dark and Ganon. Maybe, I'm guessing the, that person, like, I auto-corrected my head, so- you're, Oh, there's- there's text! You're doomed, Rayman! Oh, no! That's, that is a pretty good-looking sprite. Uh, and then they save me, the, the Lums! Thanks, Lum, you're the best waifu ever! Punch him. And then I punch with one. Nope! Look at this abomination! Oh my god! Dead. Hopefully you don't have to restart from so, the So, you remember beginning. I mentioned the gauntlet, right? This is the gauntlet? This is the gauntlet. Gauntlet of abominations. God damn it. Oh, his claws are faster! You're hitting from behind. I'm- yeah, I'm not trying to. It's a good thing you're in Ultra Instinct mode. Okay, so- no, I was wrong. There- I thought there were only four windows. There are, in fact, all five bosses represented nice. in this candy chateau. Oh, he, well, he, he blocked, blocked it! He's playing Punch-Out now! Rayman for Punch-Out? <laughs> oh, that would have been a really cool cameo. Yeah. Oh, no, Rayman for Arms! Yeah, that too. He could totally- he's like the only non-arms character who could work for that game. Alright, so the first uh, Sonic Rayman crossover is called The Ultimate Adventure. <laughs> when a multi-universe disaster is about to happen. Gotta watch out for those. Okay, so Sonic, Rayman, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Michelangelo from Dark Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, just the one, huh? That, that girl from Brave. Okay. And uh, those two, and, and the Viking in that dragon from How to Tame Your Dragon. Yeah. They must, they must work together. That's a, that's an interesting uh, roster. Yeah. Yeah, that's. It's a roster worthy of. Uh, oh fuck! Who's that guy who drew waifu, like harems? The harem art guy. Oh, Jaden Kaiba. Kaiba. Yeah, yeah Jaden Kaiba. That's about at about as uh, about as coordinated as one of his harems. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Who would be the strongest in that? Probably Sonic. Sonic would be the strongest. Oh yeah, Mo that. don't fuck with Mobians. Yeah. Even putting aside his speed in Sonic X, Sonic was like bending tank turrets. Yeah. Just effortlessly. Yeah, he's a Mobian, which is basically a Saiyan. It's like they're a, just it, furry little Saiyans. So Sly Cooper would be the Batman of that group. Yeah. <laughs> Sly Cooper versus Sonic. An anthro version of Batman v Superman. Same plot. <laughs> Sly would Sly would have to use like Sly. This is a Mobian. Are you suicidal? <laughs> oh no, flying space mamas. Why are there two of them? You know what? It's a good thing we discovered this lives code. Oh yeah, very. Good luck. So I got to deal with Scop Stone, and then I got to deal with Space Mama Fly. 
That sounds like a Tyler Perry character. <laughs> Space Mama. Space Mama? Yeah, she's super fly. Oh, man, she comes down and... Space he... Mama's so fly, she ain't get grabbed from no one! Oh, man. That... that... That sounds like a, a Kids Next Door character. Does it? Space Mama. Yeah, I guess. It's just like the wife of father. That's why we never see her. She's in space. <laughs> hey, you got one of them. Die! Oh, oh hey! Cheese! The cheese is real! Alright. Oh, no! Oh. And then it... I'm tiny! Oh, I'm tiny. It's sax B. He farted in your face. No, that was the sax noise. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sax B? They fused two of them together. Well, oh, yeah. yeah they, like, all of them have been fused. God, they're like abominations of each. This is cr only in Only in Rayman verse, where there are no. Bodies aren't attached to one another, can this be plausible? Yeah, that's actually kind of clever. Minions, you have failed me in your current forms. We must make new, better forms. <laughs> oh, so this Sonic fan, this Rayman Sonic crossover is a sequel to another one oh. called Alien vs. Rayman. Oh, okay. Holy Who's the alien? Shit. Like the, the Xenomorph. Xenomorph aliens? Yes. I th <laughs> well, I was going to say, I think Xenomorphs would win, but we've proven that Rayman is a Titan killer, so. Yeah. I gotta find this one. Earthbound. Yeah. Uh, Naruto. Believe it. Rabbits and <laughs> Forgot about that section. What happened if Naruto got a summoning scroll, but the and he can summon rabbits, but he can't unsummon them? Team Seven Bash Jake, that's a tag. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Like I forgot about the rabbits. Well, this this that stage is so cheesable. I can't get behind him fast enough. That's gonna be tight. All right, Assassin's Creed. Sure, Rayman best assassin. Rayman X Pinocchio. Oh wait, the Ubisoft Awards. Never mind. Rayman X Pinocchio. I got no limbs to hold me back. <laughs> Battle Block Theater. Okay. Uh, another game with very deep story elements. What's his Alien versus Rayman? What the fuck? God. Why though? Oh, the windows flash when you see which ones are being uh, summoned. Oh, okay. So it's, that's that's where the fusion comes from. Okay, I got him down. Oh, it's actually not just. Never mind. It... Yeah, Space Mama's Mosquito is very cheesable. Thank God. That's a free stage. So it's actually the fl Mosquito's head with Mr. Sax's legs and Space Mama's body. You can see her body oh, in there. Her oh, torso. yeah, you're right. You should, uh... It's all about finding the patterns. You should look up some uh, Inuyasha. See, see who uh, Naraku has been uh, making deals with. Oh, and yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that, that sounds fun. I'm gonna do that. God. So, oh, man. Nar Naraku would be a perfect villain for Rayman. I just found, I just realized. Why? Because Naraku's creepy as fuck, and Rayman villains are best when they're creepy. Like I guess. That. Like Mr. Dark? Maybe, it, maybe he is Naraku. We didn't see under his hood. Oh, he's just another Naraku doll? Yeah, no, it's just Naraku under there. This is his scheme he's doing while he's chilling out on Mount Hakurei. Yeah, this is where he's been. Uh... Alright. Maybe this is Mount Hakurei. Hey, explains it's, why everything's so whimsical. It's so... This is how pure it is. It's nothing but candy and rainbows. It's kind of It's kind of interesting that we have the game's final boss villain hanging out on this candy mountain place instead of, like, the super dark castle of evil. Damn, that is a very tight jump. I just gotta run through there at exactly the right time. Yeah. 
Oh, god damn it. And By the way, I like how Mr. Sax's window doesn't even have his face. It's just a saxophone. Yeah, that's... That's sad. We didn't leave enough of him to, uh, use. Just his feet remained. Alright, crossover. This really is like a, a punch-out style boxing match, this particular fight. So the top one is Naruto. Which is, you know, no surprise. For the, crossovers with Naruto? With Yasha. Yeah, yeah, Second highest is Yu Hakusho. Okay. As it should be. Uncle Ryzen! Uncle Ryzen! Uh, see, I can see the similarities between those, but Naruto and Inuyasha, I guess just because the Ninetales a demon? Is that the only reason? I guess so, yeah. I guess it's like, I understand, you're a... Uh... He doesn't know what to do with that head. He doesn't no. know what to do with that body. He's just... Well, it's weird because the hitboxes are just halfway through where the feet are. It's not exactly the graphic. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes it still hits, because it's weird. Uh, Harry Potter. Okay, with Inuyasha? Yeah. Why? How? Uh, I don't Just know. mixing a Western magic with uh, that Japanese feudal storyline? Japanese feudal magic. Yeah. God. So, Harry, what, what's the top one? Kagome finds herself in possession of Tom Riddle's diary. No thank you. That'd be inner. You know that, that that diary, right? That that was the diary that, that was, like, possessed by evil? Oh, was it possessed by evil? It was possessed... Well, yeah. Tom was, Riddle was, like, Voldemort's birth name, wasn't it? Yeah, it was his diary. And his diary is, uh... Had a personality of its own. Oh, did it? Yeah. Because it was, like, a horcrux. Okay. No, I never actually finished the Harry Potter series. I think I watched- That's okay, neither did I. Oh, I did it! I won! You won? That was it? I watched the first five movies. So where's the big showdown with Mr. Dark? When do I beat him up? I want to punch him in the schnoz. Did he just- You've done it. You saved the world! Oh. He just fucked off! Well, he beat all my minions. I guess I'm beat. <laughs> I give up. So yeah, there is no Mr. Dark fight. The end- just... The final boss is just the gauntlet. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. What we didn't see is the is the evil magician absorbing Nara Naraku Dark into his being so that he could become the bad guy of the next Rayman game. Oh. We did it! That's Rayman! That's so weak! Just, it's, we can't yeah. fight! <laughs> it's pretty anticlimactic. Yeah. No Mr. Dark. There are no lums in Rayman 1. They start appearing in Rayman 2. Uh, yeah, the little things in cages are lectoons. Oh, by the way, the bleach is listed on here as crossovers with Inuyasha. Yeah, and or on High School Host Club, then Twilight. Yeah, I mean that any anime you tend tends to make sense. Uh, Sailor Moon, Death Note, Death Note, they're, Avengers. They're... <laughs> you want Inuyasha to become an Avenger? Oh, we got sexy Space Mama beach towel. Oh, they got the credits were in the way. Yeah, they got, like, I guess where they are now. The Electoons are skiing. <laughs> this music. Dragon Ball Z. Good music. Full Metal Alchemist. Sure. Pokemon. Attack on Titan. Oh, man, that's shitty. Oh, that, that's a shitty existence. Movie Soft was two words at this time. Rurouni Kenshin, which makes no sense considering Rurouni Kenshin's at, like, the tail end of that. Totally different era. Yeah. Okay, well, someone mean. said there's a an Easter egg if you go into that last level on the same save file again. Oh, sweet. That's how we'll end it. We'll end it with a... Well, fine. I've never seen that. Because I've never... Hey, 100%. Still have a continue left, too. We do. I can't imagine why. <sighs> it was really hard not using that continue. He's looking from afar like, oh, He's I... He's still out there. I fucked up. I really fucked up. Mr. Dark's dare. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, hey! There's the magician. He hasn't betrayed us yet. No, you will, though. Cool screen. Cool music. 
Oh, that was it. It was just a, an image. I, I feel like it's trying to load something, but it skips because... Uh, I thought a cutscene was about to play. Yeah, it, it fucked that up. Is that it? Just the image is the Easter egg? You did it. Good job. Wrestling. You said little Easter egg, so... <laughs> Wait, Inuyasha crosses over oh, with I pro wrestling. I thought I was thinking you were still talking about Rayman for a second. And Just... we talked about last time, it'd be very hard for Rayman to get someone in an arm lock. Yeah, I was thinking about that, like, how are you supposed to pro wrestle Rayman? He's got no neck, he's got no... So next thing with Junior would look at him and go, I don't know what to do with him. He, he's got no limbs. We've only been going an hour and 20 minutes. You want to you wanna stream some... Well, it's good... So we should do something else. Do we, uh... I guess we could boot up Spyro, or else we could... We just did some awesome knots not too long ago. Yeah. Uh... What else we got? We're still waiting on, uh... Yeah, me. Uh, We're still so... waiting on Mario RPG and Sonic Shuffle, so those aren't awesome. At least this game's done... Hey, you want to start the other thing? Uh... Now? Are we gonna have... Yeah. We're only gonna have, like, an hour, hour and a half. Fair enough. Uh, let's play some Smash. You wanna do some stream some Smash? Yeah, or just get a little bit out of Spyro. Sure, we can do we can do either one, whichever one you want. Where's my controller? Let's boot up Spyro. Okay, let's boot up Spyro. Where's we'll do we'll do a little bit of that. Let's get so stick around and we'll be right back. I need to change some settings on uh, on OBS here. Fuck. Huh? That was interesting music. Uh, this, okay, okay, be right back. This game is dying.